Good morning and welcome to today's reflection. Today's reading is from Luke 9 verses 18 to 27. Once when Jesus was praying in private and his disciples were with him, he asked them, who do the crowd say I am? They replied, some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, and still others that one of the prophets of long ago has come back to life. But what am I about you? He asked, who do you say I am? Peter answered, the Christ of God. Jesus strictly warned them not to tell this to anyone. And he said, the son of man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders, chief priests and teachers of the law. And he must be killed and on the third day be raised to life. Then he said to them all, if anyone would come after me, he must deny himself and take up the cross daily and follow me. For whoever wants to save his life, who lose, will lose it. But whoever loses his life for man will save it. What good is it for a man to gain the whole world and yet lose or forfeit his very self? If anyone is ashamed of me and my crowds, the Son of Man will be ashamed of him when he comes in his glory and in the glory of the Father and of the holy angels. I tell you the truth. Some who are standing here will not taste death before they see the kingdom of God. This is the word of the Lord. Jesus wants his disciples to know that nothing will be what they think it's going to be. Jesus is not going to overthrow Rome, but his messiah messiahship will be different to what they actually expect. Jesus told that the messiah will suffer and die so that God's work of redemption will be accomplished. The Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders, chief priests and teachers of the law. Jesus predicts how the future for him will be. He will deliver us from our sins and because of this he will feel humiliated and rejected and suffer on the cross as the Messiah. Jesus tells his disciples that those who follow him must walk the same road. Take up the cross and follow me. We should not be thinking about ourselves, but we should think what Jesus wants us to actually do in our lives. As Christians, we follow the path that Jesus taught us. To include him in our lives, to be committed and to go where he tells us to go. And sometimes this could be really quite difficult. It is hard to talk about faith sometimes when people don't believe and sometimes we don't always get the answers when they ask us certain things about our faith. My friends know that I'm a Christian and we talk about things but they don't always ask about my faith and how I feel but they know by the way I live, by the way that I talk and the way that I deal with my family, my friends, the community. They know the way I live my life is knowing Jesus and he is always in my life. If anyone is ashamed of me and my words, the Son of Man will be ashamed of him when he comes in his glory and the glory of the Father and the Holy Spirit. Jesus does not want us to reject him or deny him because if we do, he will reject us. Jesus wants us to trust in him and God's radiance will shine a light always in our lives. Amen. And now for a short prayer. It's from Corinthians 13, verses 4 to 7. Dear Father, give me love. May I one day possess fully all the qualities of love, as did your Son, Jesus the Messiah. May I be patient and kind, not jealous or boastful, not arrogant or rude not insisting on my own, not ever irritable or resentful. Amen. Have a good week. Goodbye.